Do you run a Shopify store and are wondering how to set up custom emails for your store? Well, in this brief Shopify tutorial, I'm gonna share how you can simply set up professional emails using your domain name so that website visitors can get in touch with you. This will also make your online branding more professional with custom emails. Okay, so before we go ahead and dive into Shopify, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that being out of the way, let's go ahead and set up custom emails for your Shopify store. <music> Okay, so to set up a custom email for your Shopify store, you first need to log into the back end of Shopify. Then simply navigate down to settings in the bottom left hand corner. Then under profile, you'll notice you have a store contact email and a sender email. This is the email that we want to set up. Now, when you first set up your Shopify store, your sender email will be the same email that you use to set up your Shopify store. Okay, so the first method to set up your custom email for your Shopify store is using a domain name that you purchased from within Shopify. What we first want to do is navigate over to the left hand side and then locate domains. Now over here is the free Shopify domain that you will get when you first set up your Shopify store. But what you want to do is navigate up to buy a new domain and make sure that you have a custom domain name like this domain name that we purchased for this Shopify store. Go digitalnow.store. Yours could be yourbusinessname.com.co.nz.com.au or any other domain that you want to purchase. As you can see, this is already our primary domain for our online store. However, if you've just purchased a domain name for your Shopify store and that's the domain that you wanna use for your business emails, then you'll be asked to change it to your primary domain. Okay, so once you've purchased your domain name, simply click on the domain and then navigate down to email forwarding. Then navigate over to add forwarding email. And for example, a new forwarding email could be Emma at godigitalnow.store. So Emma could be my admin person. And then what we wanna do is come down and add the receiving email address. So this would be Emma's proper email. So now if any emails get sent to Emma at godigitalnow.store, then those emails will go directly into the inbox at emma at cindio.co.nz. Then come down and click on save. And as you can see, I now have three forwarding emails. So basically, this is your forwarding email. This is the email that your website visitors, your customers will see when you send any emails from Shopify. And if a customer or a website visitor sends an email to you and they send an email to this address here, then you will receive that email at this address here. Then what you wanna do is navigate back up to store details and then click on edit and simply come down and add the forwarding email that you just created earlier. And now your forwarding email, this custom email that you just created, will automatically be added to your online store, as well as in the from section when you engage in email marketing activities. And this email will be added to your contact form as well. Now the second method that I wanna share is using a proper email like Google Workspace or Zoho email rather than setting up forwarding. This means you're using an external email service to send and receive emails using your professional custom email. So to connect your email service, all you need to do is navigate over to domains and then click on the domain for your store and then navigate down the page and look for third-party email hosting. To send and receive emails from this Shopify managed domain, connect a Google Workspace or Zoho account. So if you want to switch to a email hosting, then all you need to do is go ahead and click on switch to email hosting. And Shopify will guide you through this process. Now, if you currently do not have a Google Workspace account, what I'll do is add a beginner's tutorial up above and down below in the description if you wanna get started and set up a professional email with Google Workspace. So remember you have two options for setting up professional custom emails for your online store. The first is setting up email forwarding using this method. And the second is connecting a third party email hosting provider like Google Workspace or Zoho. 
And there we have it guys, that is it for this brief Shopify email tutorial. Now if you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. And that way I will see you in the next video. Take care everyone.